Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for deciding to click on today's video. It is going to be a brand new review. I'm gonna be reviewing the Origins Blooming Bold lipsticks. I was so excited to see Origins broadening their horizons when it came to makeup and they have now came out with these new lipsticks. I have in front of me the entire set of them so I'm gonna be swatching all of the shades. So there are lip balms to this collection. I will be swatching eight of those and then 24 different blooming bold shades. I will be swatching them all, telling you guys a bit about the formula. So if you're ready to see this review, go ahead and keep on. <laughs> to send me this package right here so I have inside of it all of the brand new blooming bold lipsticks and I was so excited when I seen that they were coming out with these because I love the fact when skincare brands kind of come out with makeup products you know that they're gonna be really nice on your skin they're gonna feel nice on the lips so I was definitely excited to try these out I have been using them the last few days so I'm gonna be telling you guys a little bit about the formula how I feel about them so first I want to read you guys a little bit of a description of what these lipsticks are supposed to be so they are going to be a satin lip here is what the packaging of the lipstick looks like it has a really pretty outer packaging with the flowers and then it is also going to have this color right here is going to be the shade of the lipstick like I said they come in 24 different shades and we will get to all of these swatches in a minute the formula of this is a satin finish it is a bullet lipstick it feels very hydrating on the lips and I would say it's it's not the look longest lasting lipstick but it definitely lasts it lasts I've had it on for hours and hours and it was still on my lips perfectly it looked really nice it's one of those lipsticks that you can kind of like do one of these and you can always touch it up which I love it's definitely not going to be a liquid lipstick or anything like that it's going to transfer if you drink or you know kiss someone or something like that but it is just a lipstick like I said it's a satin formula which is my favorite personal kind of lipstick to wear so I do want to read you guys the description here of like how this lipstick is what it kind of is so it says that this is the blooming bold lipstick from origins it is a flower infused lipstick that gives lips bold and full coverage color with satin finish and lasting color true wear it is available in 24 shades like i mentioned it says that it is infused with flower butters crushed petals and essential oils from a blend of 12 flowers this full coverage lipstick hydrates and conditions lips for hours of comfortable wear plus it smooths and defines lips to give you a bold and brilliant pout so that is a little bit about it like i said i felt like the lasting power on this lipstick was really nice it does retail for twenty dollars you can find it at sephora and ulta and then also on origins websites it is definitely your standard lipstick size you have origins logo right here and the packaging on this feels very luxurious it's almost like heavy in a way like it has a bit of weight to it i love 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 the fact that the cap matches the lipstick inside i always love it when brands do that or it has like the little sticker on the bottom it's just easier when storing it to kind of know which lipstick you're grabbing when it does have a tube like this and you can't necessarily see it so I love the fact that it has the flower detail of the different shade I'll show you guys what I mean so every shade is gonna look different and the cap is going to match the shade that is on the inside also a part of the collection we have the blooming sheer lip balm so there are going to be eight different shades of this and this one is going to be a lip balm so this one's gonna be a little bit more hydrating on the lip Lips. it's going to feel more comfortable the lipsticks feel pretty comfortable but this is just going to be more hydrating kind of feel more like a chapstick type of lip formula these again are going to be $20 as well and I will read you the description on these so it says naturally pretty and nourishing origins blooming sheer lip balm is a flower infused lip balm that gives a lips a hint of sheer and glossy just bloomed color as it hydrates for a petal soft pout it's available in eight different shades like I mentioned infused with the same flower butters crushed petals and essential oils um, this full coverage hydrating lipstick conditions lips for hours of comfortable wear plus it smooths and defines lips so pretty much just says the same thing the only difference is with the two is going to be the way that they feel like kind of this one is a little bit more like I said a little bit more sheer on the lips and then it also has just a little bit more hydration with the lip balm and then the lipstick is definitely so comfortable but it's a little bit different of a feel it is more of a satin finish so the first shade we're going to be swatching and this one is called coral blossom here is what that one looks like 
And I'm going to try to make sure I put the names on the screen of all of these shades. I know you guys always tell me when I do my Live Swatch videos that you would rather I have the names on the shades. So as you can see, they're definitely very, very pigmented, easy to apply. I will say that when you have them on the lips, they definitely have like a scent to them for the first like few minutes. It kind of reminds me of like an essential oil. It's not a bad smell. Like it kind of just reminds me of like skincare or something like that's kind of what it smells like. But here is the very first shade. This one again is Coral Blossom. Moving on to the next shade. This one right here is Black Tulip. And this one is definitely gonna be your more brownie shade. Definitely a vampy shade. And here is what a black tulip looks like on the lips. This next shade is called Bold Bouquet. And here is Bold Bouquet on the lips. The next shade we have here is Sweeter Than Honey, and this is just a really pretty nude shade. And here is Sweeter Than Honey on the lips. All right, and up next we have Poppy Pout. And here is Poppy Pout on the lips. The next shade we have is Merlot Moon Flower. And here is that shade on the lips. All right, up next we have Pink Carnation. All right, and here is Pink Carnation on the lips. Up next we have Wild Flower. And here is Wild Flower on the lips. All right, up next we have Nectarlicious. All right, and here is Nectarlicious on the lips. Okay, and next up we have English Rose. All right, and here is the shade English Rose on the lips. And then we have Dahlia Diva. And here is Dahlia Diva on the lips. Up next, we have Hibiscus Haze. And here is Hibiscus Haze on the lips. The next one we have Champagne Orchard. And here is Champagne Orchard on the lips. This one definitely looks like it has a bit of like a metallic hint to it. You can definitely see like a little bit more flex in the shade. Next up, we have Peeny Perfect. And here is Peeny Perfect on the lips. Next up, we have Vava Violet. And here is what Vava Violet looks like. Next up, we have Petal Blush.
And here is Petal Blush on the lips. And then we have Dusky Rose. And here is Dusky Rose on the lips. Next up we have Pretty Petunia. And here is Pretty Petunia on the lips. Next up we have Peach Petal. And here is Peach Petal on the lips. And then next up we have Lush Lotus. And here is the shade Lush Lotus on the lips. The next shade we have is Tiger Lily. And here is Tiger Lily on the lips. Next up we have Crimson Calla Lily. And here is Crimson Calla Lily on the lips. Up next we have Velvet Vine. Here is the shade Velvet Vine on the lips. And then the last one of the Blooming Bolds is Nude Blossom. And here is Nude Blossom on the lips. So that is all of the Blooming Bold lipsticks. And now let me quickly show you the H Sheer Lip Balms. So up first we have the shade Totally Tulip. Here is the shade Totally Tulip. As you can tell, these definitely have more of a sheer color to them. Also, they feel a lot, lot more hydrating like on the lips. The other lipsticks feel hydrating, but these just feel like, mm, like a chapstick. The next one I have is Fuchsia Fields. And here is Fuchsia Fields on the lips. Up next, we have Sweet Iris. And here is Sweet Iris on the lips. The next shade we have is Night Bloom. And here is what Night Bloom looks like on the lips. Up next, we have Nude Nectar. I feel like it's hard to tell the true color of this one because I have so many lipsticks on right now. It's coming across as pink, but when I swatch it, like it's just like a true nude shade. For the next shade, we have Pink Blossom. And here is Pink Blossom on the lips. The next shade we have is Honey Blush. Here is Honey Blush on the lips. And then the last shade of the Blooming Shears is Coral Daisy. All right, and here is what Coral Daisy looks like. Okay, and I am so glad we ended with the lip balms because my lips are definitely feeling the burn right now. That was a lot of lipsticks to try on. Mm, these lip balms feel so nice, but I hope you guys enjoyed seeing swatches for all the shades. Again, I definitely recommend these. I think they're a really, really nice formula of lipstick, and I think they're just really comfortable on the lips. I think the shades are very unique. I think there's a lot of different colors in them. There's pretty much a color for everyone. They're going to be nice and hydrating on your lips, like I said, because they are infused with those nice 
base ingredients, the essential oils, the flower petals, and everything like that. So after that, that is going to do it for this review. Holy lip hurts. I am ready to just soak my lips in a lip mask because they're feeling pretty raw right about now, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you found this video helpful. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Also, let me know down below what shade was your guys' favorite. Which one did you guys like the most? I will have them all linked down below for you guys as well if you want to check out the lipsticks, but I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, friends.